Chelsea team that won the FA Cup three years ago, but only Dan Petrescu and Dennis Wise make the starting 11. There are three changes to the side that drew at Aston Villa last time out, including Marcel Desailly's return, which offsets the absence of Emerson Tome. Chris Sutton and George Weah are up front, and one of the world's top players for a decade, Weah takes a bow in the world's greatest club cup competition. Goalkeeper Tim Flowers is out because of injury in the Leicester lineup. Frank Sinclair, who was part of Chelsea's cup winning squad in 97, is OK to play. Stephen Walsh, Theo Zagorakis and Darren Eady are in, replacing three injured midfielders. Of course, it's in the midfield where Leicester is most depleted. Leicester cutting Chelsea back in their own half. Well, the first half save of the day, and not surprisingly, it's made by De Hoy as Leicester press again, and Walsh, don't think he gets a proper contact on this, got a piece of it jumping against Poyet. Long board, Dennis Wise. Sutton on the half turn, did it nicely. This is where one or two promising combinations coming from those two together. Chris Sutton's won the free kick. Zagorak has just caught him. And it's a very good position for Chelsea, this. Much better as the home sides start to settle here. And unlike Leicester, Chelsea still have lots of options from a free kick in this area. And they work long and hard in training on set pieces from these areas. Gianfranco Zola is only among the subs today. <laughs> he works harder than anybody, I can tell you that for a fact. But still, they have Sutton, Poyet, Wise and Petrescu, and Petrescu doesn't even get the chance. He's been pushed aside by the skipper. Chris Sutton with only three goals so far this season, in his first season for Chelsea. The wall is taking an age to get the distance back. That's good for Leicester and frustrating for Chelsea and their support. Desai is making his point very clear. It's Sutton. And it wasn't missing by much. Well, I think he deceived one or two. Rather than going for the strike through the ball with power, it's with the outside, or sorry, the inside of his foot, trying to curl it past the outside of the wall, and it almost worked. Desai is a big, strong man, but he's really got his hands full in the physical department today. And this little fellow, Wise, who loves to get involved in the nip and tuck in the middle of the park. <laughs> Went over the top on. Steve Walsh, well seen by Graham Paul, an excellent piece of refereeing. Walsh was rightly furious, it was just one of those hard little battles, and as so often with Dennis Wise, he lets himself down by losing his discipline and going over the top of the ball. And of course, as we saw, he's been booked, rightly. Walsh OK, and he's a real warrior, Walsh. Credit also to Walsh for keeping his cool, once he was one of the fieriest players in football himself. I dread to think what might have happened to Dennis Wise ten years ago if he'd have done that to Steve Walsh in a game somewhere in the lower leagues. Sutton frustrated by that decision. And his little show of petulance will earn him a yellow card. Chelsea just cannot afford to get rattled like this by Leicester. This is just perfect for Leicester. Chelsea collecting cards, they're losing their rhythm, and the crowd, home crowd are getting very, very uptight. It's just what Leicester City could have wished for.
Margaret will try to police it out, but Wea brilliantly alert. Brilliant from G George Wea. Poyet against the crossbar. Arfetsad clears the area. This time, Dennis Wise wins a free kick off Edith. Chelsea unlucky. So good in the air, and to be honest with you, because he is so good, surely Poyet should have hit the target. This is the quality of Wea, though. The extra little bit of know-how. The ball wasn't going dead as far as he was concerned. Poyet charging into the box, just couldn't get over it enough. Jumped well, didn't he? Incidentally, just to amplify the point about the refereeing, all the top officials in England were issued with reminder instructions from the referee supervisor. Mistake by Desai. Leicester with three on three here. Well, how Walsh would have loved to say to De Hoy, pick that one out. But the mighty Marcel caught up in the hurry-scurry of English Cup football here and didn't look comfortable. Also looked to be grimacing with pain as though maybe he's still feeling his injury. Presentable chance for Leicester. Dennis Wise with the corner. Headed clear by Heskey, but not too effectively. Back post, good variety from Wise. Weyer won it there. And this time Chelsea break through, through Gus Poyet. And now he is in double figures for the season. Quality beginning to tell at last for Chelsea. Weyer the architect. And how relieved they are as Poyet breaks through. <laughs> 35 minutes of battling and bombardment end with a beautiful strike from Poyet. Suddenly way in the last five minutes starting to affect the outcome of this tie with his awareness and pace and touch and how brilliantly he did here in the air this time to set up Poyet. They had an awful lot to do and the Uruguayan with such an instinct for goal did it all so well. Wise, lovely ball from Dennis Wise. Well, they look pleadingly to the referee and shades of that incident, perhaps with Erland Johnson. Petrescu went down this time. Graham Paul, the referee on this occasion, didn't want any part of it. But uncannily like the infamous incident, unbelievably like the, the incident three years ago here, at the other end, when Erland Johnson went down under a challenge and won a penalty, which actually put Chelsea through in the FA Cup against Leicester. to recover himself but it was picked up by Heskey for Leicester. Leicester unable to get started here after the break which is certainly better for Chelsea than the start of the first half when Chelsea right from the off found themselves penned back. Now Sutton gets the chance to break free of Taggart. Well, brilliant, absolutely brilliant and Chelsea out of nothing lead 2-0. Well, if Chris Sutton isn't scoring them, he's playing his part around the field as a team player here. It's just a big ball over the top into the corner, but Sutton makes something of it, and Weyer too sharp. And how important his contribution has been. He made the first, and now he's got the second. Now O'Neill is going to have to compose himself and regroup because Leicester are in one of those deep crises that seems to follow them around in games recently. More... ...tetchiness. Steve Walsh, the latest player to be booked. It's a real guard action here, away from home for Leicester. One more surely would finish it. And right now, 
the side who looked likely to, make, to get the next goal in this game are Chelsea. at Stamford Bridge. Apologies for the momentary juddering of the picture. I do remember actually a game a few years ago at Stamford Bridge where wind stopped play. Actually, what happened was that the game, it was so windy at Stamford Bridge one night, six or seven years ago, a cup tie, that the game actually was called off about half an hour before kickoff by the referee because actually he couldn't guarantee the safety of the roofing in the gale force winds. Happily, the stadium has largely been rebuilt since those days, and I do think it will not happen again. Well, he is a powerful man, Georges Weah, and he Landed with his full weight, he knew it was going to be painful for Edie, and his concern was immediate. Nothing malicious about it. Leicester at last in this half with the chance to exert some pressure. And they've got the three big ones forward, a little bit of argy bargy. Walsh off the ball. Like I said, Steve Walsh, not a shrinking violet. The misfortune for Walsh is that it was caught on camera. It goes on the whole time. Walsh has been booked. And he might be in big trouble here if the linesman Phil Prosser on that side did see it. And I think... Mr Prosser has told Mr. Paul that he did see it. Steve Walsh goes. Well, it was looking a tough job before this, and now even for Leicester City, this looks beyond them. It's just argy-bargy that goes on the whole time, but he throws his elbow, he cannot do it, and he should go off. The thing with Leicester City is, when the odds are stacked up against them. They simply roll their sleeves up and relish the challenge. So they won't be, I'll tell you now, they will not be despondent about the extra adversity. Now they're down to 10 men, they'll just say, right, we'll get on with it. And we still fancy ourselves. And we've seen it from them so often. Chelsea cannot afford to relax and let them back into it, as De Hoy has just done. Savage almost punished him. I've got to be honest, you do lose count of the times you see De Hoy taking outrageous risks with the ball at his feet. Wise to Lombard. Petrescu. Good pace from Lombard, but equally good pace from ED. And he did track him well. <laughs> Chelsea looking for that third insurance goal. Oh, and so close to it from the youngster, John Terry. So close. Would have been his first ever goal for the first team. Didn't miss by much, did he? Another inch and it would have gone in off the post instead of away. Heskey. What a great tackle by Dennis Wise. It's Poyet for Chelsea. Options left and right. Dan Petrescu joins in at pace. 
Deflection and a decent take from Arfex out who had to change direction. Definitely was a decent save by Arfex out who did have to adjust as it was deflected to his near post side. There will be four added minutes. There was a handball against Harley. Oh, excuse me, against Dennis Wise. And this could be important. And I'm afraid it's very bad news to end the day for Chelsea. Dennis Wise knows what he's done. He goes off. Inadvertent, it may be. A reflex action. But poor old Dennis Wise suffers the same for this as if he'd lost his head and committed a rash tackle, injuring a, an opponent. He knew it immediately, didn't he? So, ten aside here. De Hoy's missed the cross and got a bit lucky. And had Graham Fenton been able to make more of that, who knows what sort of drama might have unfolded here in injury time. It's a lovely ball, the best cross Leicester produced in the second half, and De Hoy really came for a ball that maybe he might have left alone. And a day which would certainly have dawned worryingly for Viali and Chelsea, knowing Leicester City's incredible will and determination and ability to produce results against the odds it looked like it might be a tricky afternoon and in many ways it was one but Chelsea have come through it with reasons to be cheerful for the future Good likes, he did well. Elliot, can he turn? Yes, he can. It's still Matt Elliot. Oh, how well he did. Why does he play as a centre-half? George Weyer couldn't have done that. It's probably too late to matter, but it's typical Leicester City. They went to get the ball back out of the net and De Hoy frustrated them. Matt Elliot has Leicester on the score sheet with a really breathtaking piece of skill for a big man. Good Loudson did well, but A, there was the trick, and B, the composure by Elliott before slotting. Tremendous work. Leicester need to get the ball back in play here quickly. Now Leicester have got to win it back and launch it. Here it goes. Graham Paul shows no inclination to blow so far. Every Leicester player will just fight to get into possession here. Edie's done well. This is Leicester City, the team that does not know how to lose a game. Surely they're not going to pull this one out. My heart will not take it if they do this. Danger. And Chelsea, this time, finally put Leicester City away. Spirit and determination encapsulated. But this was Chelsea's afternoon, despite the last 60 seconds, where Leicester City again proved just what they've got. George Weah's day overall, and certainly Chelsea's day, a very, very important cup win, and a big, big sigh of relief for Gus Poyet and Chelsea at the end of it. A little bit of nastiness spoiling the post-match greetings, I'm afraid. O'Neill doing the right thing, getting Leicester players away from the heat and let's hope that the lingering bad feeling between these clubs can be put to one side. George Weah made the difference over the whole piece for Chelsea, certainly, and on the day, Chelsea probably deserved it, but Leicester City demonstrated yet again their unique ability to make a fight of every game they play in. Leicester City have got other trophies to aim for still, but Chelsea take another step toward the FA Cup final and may well tonight be favourites to go on and win at Wembley in May. The result here, tight though it got at the end, Chelsea 2, Leicester City 1.